travel bubble talks to pick up once COVID-19 is under control. Phuket Brits find 6,000 baht for a legal family gathering of six. And an end of an era, Bangkok's trailblazing Bolan calls it quits. I'm Kira Mack and you are listening to the Thai Expat Daily Show. Travel Bubble Talks to pick up once COVID-19 is under control. This is a story that's coming from VN Express uh, Daily. Once the COVID-19 outbreak is under control, Thailand will pick back up on travel bubble discussions with countries such as Vietnam, Singapore, Laos and Malaysia. Travel bubbles could start as soon as October if the daily COVID-19 count significantly decreases by the end of the month. The country's COVID-19 immunization plan needs to be accelerated and the daily COVID-19 count needs to drop. Thailand's tourism sports minister uh, was quoted as saying in the Bangkok Post. We have to speed up inoculations, particularly in Bangkok, to achieve herd immunity by the fourth quarter. The number of daily infections should be below 200 by the end of this month to restore international tourism confidence. And it goes on to just give some basic um, stats. So this is, I would call, a little bit of a strange story because um, they've already discussed uh, reopening the country uh, to Bangkok, Phuket, uh, Surat Thani, Chiang Mai and Hua Hin and Pattaya in October. Uh, So what would the need be for travel bubbles? I don't understand. If you're vaccinated, then you should be able to come from any country uh, once you meet the criteria. So this seems to be a bit of a non-story and uh, it's a bit confusing. It's as usual, the government putting out mixed statements that don't seem to really make any sense when you look deeper into them. The plan, of course, is for them to reopen uh, July with uh, Phuket and then uh, further reopen in October. Um, It seems like... uh, they're trying to get the infections down to 200 per day by the end of this month. I'm not sure they will reach that figure. It seems to be going up rather than going down. But we'll definitely keep an eye on this story and any stories about the reopening of Thailand or whether the Phuket sandbox will actually happen. I think these are definitely stories that um, expats here in Thailand are very interested in. So if I get anything else on it, I'll certainly be updating you on that. Now, another story that has made headlines is Brits fined 6,000 baht in Phuket for a legal family gathering of six, that's right, six people, family gathering. Two British nationals in Phuket have been fined 6,000 Thai baht each for holding an illegal gathering by having a total of only six people at a family gathering at a private home in Ban Lai An, Chern on Phuket's west coast. There's the picture of them there. Uh, Churn today police under the command of the chief colonel and led by uh, a whole host of uh, top-notch guys. They were conducted after a tip-off by local residents. The name of the uh, informant was not revealed. Also during the raid was the uh, sub-district chief, the village chief and uh, his assistant. So they all came down for the to, to uh, point the fingers at the foreigners having a family gathering of six people. The two were arrested at the house and charged for acting against the Communicable Disease Act and the Phuket Provincial Order number blah 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 section 5. Uh, with the report went on then and we're calling for all four foreigners to present themselves at the house to come to the police station and face the charges. So this is... Uh, it, 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 it does make you wonder, an island like Phuket that is yearning for the return of international tourism and, and foreigners, is treating the ones that are on the island like this. A family gathering of six has to be broken up by more police and district officers than was actually at the party and if you even call this a party the pictures suggest they were sitting around a long table drinking some a few glasses of wine the reports i read said that there was no music there was no partying there was nothing going on so it seems that maybe this was a disgruntled neighbor who uh you know just wanted to uh snitch on them i don't know i think it's personally I, I think this is kind of wrong. I mean, 
how many times do you go down to the beach now and you see families of 10 11 12 all sitting around sharing plates sharing cups sharing drinks and and that's okay but this is not okay well tell me what do you think about it down in the comment section just leave me you know uh, a few words what do you think about it do you think it's right do you think it's wrong uh do you think maybe these uh british people were singled out I'd love to hear your comments on it and our last story of the day. To stop the bleeding, Bangkok's trailblazing Bolan calls it quits. An influential restaurant at the vanguard of Thai fine dining in Bangkok is saying goodbye. After more than a decade in business, Chef Duong Porn and Dylan Jones announced on Monday that they are shutting their pioneer fine dining restaurant Bolan. The couple partly blamed the closure to the Thai government's response to COVID-19 crisis in Thailand since the third wave outbreak led to a blanket ban on dining in. The utter lack of financial and political support for small business owners, and in particular our hospitality industry, has certainly contributed to our decisions to call it a day, Bo and Dylan wrote. The closure of Bolan was not utterly shocking. However, Bo told Coconuts Bangkok in a recent interview that businesses had suffered greatly since the first lockdown in mid-2020 due to a lack of foreigners, her main target market, and a lack of government support. She said she had to keep her bit the business open open with her own funds we have been bleeding and right now we need to stop the bleed in the case of COVID-19 I'm not really optimistic about it people said the only hope now is vaccines but when the time comes how many people will get access to them Bolan opened their door 13 years ago taking Thai fine dining to another level with their focus on ancient Thai recipes uncompromising flavors and sustainability the restaurant rose to fame, becoming a stalwart in annual guides, annually earning Michelin stars. Famously, the couple was featured in the Netflix Chef's Table anthology. So, another restaurant closes its doors, which is always very, very sad to see. And the biggest issue that has been around hospitality businesses and all businesses but in particular hospitality business let's say bars restaurants hotels is the lack of support from the government they are very quick to close down bars they're very quick to uh, restrict what restaurants can do but they're not very quick to offer the support financially that employers need they don't offer to help with salaries they don't offer to help with rents they don't offer mortgages etc they are basically leaving these businesses on their own and to cope on their own which is completely wrong if you tell a bar that you have to close for a month and you can't sell alcohol or anything then you're responsible to help that business out and the same goes with any businesses that you tell you have to shut for the next month because of COVID-19 you have to take responsibility for your decisions and unfortunately here in thailand i don't believe that is happening and as you can see it's led to a wonderful restaurant having to close down and to me that's very sad thanks for tuning in today if you enjoyed today's episode don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave us a five star rating we are available on youtube apple podcasts spotify and wherever you like to listen to your podcasts thanks for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow